Well, what we did tonight was uh, not good enough to, to win a football game. Um, and, and on really on both sides of the ball, we, we needed to do some things better, particularly on third down. Third down was a nightmare for us, uh, particularly on defense, and made it really hard for us. But um, what we came here to do was tackle people for the first time this year and run and hit and see how our young guys would, would chase on the kicking game and uh, would we get after it and play hard and tough and all that. And we did all of that. Um, uh, I was really pleased with the with the hidden tonight, and, and I thought our special teams coverage teams were excellent, and that just shows you our, our young guys getting after it, which was great. It was really a game that we dedicated to the young guys. You noticed a lot of people didn't play in this game, and uh, the Rooks got a shot at it, and, and um, you know they they were busting their tails and doing the best they could, and we just needed to be a lot cleaner in in, in crucial areas, and we weren't able to do that. Um, I thought it was a, a really good night for uh, Alton Robinson and for uh, Daryl Taylor. You know, those guys played a lot of football, and we're trying to get them going. And, and particularly Daryl, we just needed to just get, leave him out there and let him get some ball uh, you know, under his belt. He's had such a good off season and such a good prep in camp. And, and so for, I don't even know you know, how he played necessarily. I just know that he was out there playing football, and that's, that was really important for us. Um, the evaluations that we get done here, th there'll be a, a great opportunity to evaluate a bunch of guys. And uh, with, with a lot of, we get almost 80 plays on defense, so we'll see those guys quite a bit. Um, but, uh, you know, so th this is the first step. And uh, the other thing, too, is that we played in a cr with a crowd and, and noise, which uh, it's always nice to be able to say to our guys from this point forward, you know, that was a, a big crowd and they were going crazy and trying to have, you know, have an effect on the game. And it really didn't affect our playing at all. And, and that's, uh, that's a real positive moving forward. We've worked hard at our silent stuff and the things that we need to do. And that, that showed up. Uh, in hand pretty well. So, um, okay, go. You, you mentioned Taylor and Alton Robinson. Rasheem Green had a sack as well. For on a night you give Dunlap and Mayo a night off. Do you, you like what you saw in the depth there? Yeah, I just I really right now, John. I got to see the see the game and watch the plays and see what they did, what their situations. But you could feel Alton and, and Rasheem too. Thanks for bringing him up. And uh, the, all of those opportunities for Daryl is it's just going to help us. I don't know who they were rushing against and necessarily, you know, what, what level they were with their players. But still, our guys just got to play football and they worked hard at it. Uh, you know, we give up one sack on the night. We throw the ball about close to 30 times. That's a big improvement for us. And uh, first time out um, with the number of cubes out there playing. And uh, we had four sacks. So that's, that's a good start in that regard. We wind up plus one and lose. I, you know, that just never happens. We were 12-0 last year, you know, when we're plus, even a plus. And so... Um, that's just a rare occurrence that that, that happened like that. But uh, he, he he got knocked. You know, he got hit really hard um, and was okay. And then it just kind of progressed in after he went back in, and we had to take him out. He wasn't he wasn't ready to play. In emphasizing the rhythm and the tempo, of course, it's hard to do when you're one for whatever on third down. But we didn't we didn't even try tonight. We, we didn't do that tonight. We were just playing football. We were just trying to get out there and snap the ball and minimal amount of opportunities that we even try to do it. So we were, we were working on our just getting the huddle called and getting line of scrimmage and taking care of business and just playing some basic football. Your first glance at the, the hit on Gino, was, was that just a blitz pick up on Forsythe? Is there some, was that yeah. a time in there? Yeah, we, we, missed, yeah we, we missed the look and should have, should have keyed it. We didn't, we didn't do it right. And so uh, he gets pounded on the play. It was really a basic pressure that they ran, and we, we missed it. Um, and Gino got hit. You know, he got hit hard. And, I, and that was a shame. Sorry for that. That was the play where he hit Harris head? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, yeah, that's the way I think. I don't think he got hit after that. But um, I, I think it just it, it, there was a factor that kind of accumulated later on, and he, he didn't feel right, so we had to get him out of there. It appears you're using Alton Robinson a little bit of a linebacker, too. But the way he rushes off the edge, may you just put him back where he was last year as an end? Well, he, he's able to play in all of the pass rush situations, the nickel packages as an, as an end. And we're also bringing him along as, a, as an outside back or two for early downs in, in base packages. So we're just, just kind of diversifying, you know, how we're using him and, and, uh, and trying to learn and see, you know, see where it fits uh, with, with all the guys in the competition. Was there any chance, still one, I mean, any chance to make a real evaluation? I don't know. I don't have one, but, you know, we got sacked once, you know, and I, mean, I didn't feel like we were having a, a, a really tough time. I, um, so I'm pleased that he got a ton of play time as well. Huge, huge advantage for him to get that chance. And, and uh, as you say, DJ Dallas played a nice game too. You know, the big play he makes the touchdown play was a big play by Alex also reading the blitz and picking it. And uh, But then that was a big convert for uh, uh, for DJ to take the ball, make the miss, and, you know, and, and score a big touchdown for us. Sorry, I should ask you this yesterday, but what happened with Alden Smith? Um, he, he just he just couldn't hang with us, you know. Just couldn't. He he tried. He just couldn't make it. How, 
you went to a little lengths with them. How, how disappointing was that? It, it's, it is disappointing. I'm disappointed for him, you know, because we gave him a real chance. And uh, we looked after him in, in every way that we knew how to do it. I wish we'd have done better. You know, I don't know what we could have done better. But, um, you know, we were very open to helping him, you know, become part of the program. And, and uh, it's just unfortunate he wasn't able to do that. Besides Dino, were there any injuries? Um, the only guy was uh, Philip Haynes had a little bit of a well, sore knee or something like that, but nothing serious. So we were very fortunate in that regard. What do you think of uh, all the reps BBK got? Oh, it was great. I think it didn't, he had double digits tackles. You know, he was running and hitting. He's had a fantastic camp. He's had a with Cody being out, he just got tons of reps. Um, he was calling the game. You know, he 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 was leading it out there, and I thought he did a really nice job. He's a really good ball player, and uh, we're we're seeing that. And uh, the culmination of his work leading up to this has been really good. And he, by all rights, he should have played well, and he did. And then he came through in a big way. It was great that we got Cody out there. Cody had a couple sacks on a couple really good finesse things that he did, and and and, uh, um, and hitting the pressures and stuff, and and. Uh, so that's great. We'll have him back coming back. We should get a real boost this week of, of guys returning to us. And uh, what we made the, the guys who didn't play in the game become is they were cheerleading in, in this ball game and trying to help us coach up on the sidelines and all that. I can't give them a whole lot of credit for their coaching. Uh, and I, I, you know, I have to critique that later. But um, they were there in support of the young guys. We really dedicated the night for the first time that our, our guys get out there and play in NFL football. I was glad it was a setting like that too for the for the guys. You know, they got to really feel a, a big crowd and, and and the matchup and all of that. So it's good for them. For your outside corners at all? Well, well, we didn't we didn't make any plays to stop third down attempts. You know, and so we got to take a look at you know at all that. We we mixed our stuff. We did a lot of things in, in trying to you know mix it up, and we needed some some wins. And we didn't get much. You miss Santana during halftime while you're in there. I, I just caught this just finishing up. Somebody recorded it for me though. That's, that goes way back, so uh, I'm sure uh, Carlos gave it a great shot. <laughs> was there like first thought of why the offense didn't move the ball? Yeah, uh, we, were, we, were, we were messy, you know, and in that we, we didn't convert. You know, we had some chances to get our third downs. We have to get a third down wins and just, okay, then the whole sequence starts over again. I really wanted to throw the ball with Gino, and, and we came out to do that, to get him, make sure he got some chances. And unfortunately, you know, I think it was the third play he gets, he gets whacked, didn't he? And so... Um, you know, we didn't really get him the opportunity we were hoping for. Um, we, we we would have thrown the ball a bunch with him if we were, you know, if we were moving it. So that was just just to make sure and give him a great chance to play some football and have be a factor. It was uh, just an intent that I wanted to get done. All well, by the first dozen or so plays were passes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Paul and Robinson kind of caused the interception, but Ryan Neal Yeah, it was, you like know. he's kind of a guy that's around the ball. He right? certainly has been that, and and uh, you know he's a really hard worker, really smart, always in the right spots and all that, and does a very nice job for us. And, and he, that's why you know he's an opportunistic guy. And and uh, but a really good rush, you know, by Alton made that happen. We were really close to getting a couple other ones too. The rush was was formidable, but not quite enough on this night tied together with our coverage. It just wasn't wasn't connected as well as we wanted to. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you.